Hey, I'm Eric Triplett, The Pond Digger. Welcome to our demonstration set, where we're gonna teach you how to build a pond step-by-step step in great detail. We're gonna cover fundamentals. We're gonna take you from the design layout process all the way through excavation and skimmer installation. You'll be glad to know that we're gonna take great time in, in showing you proper placement of underwater lights so you get that real pop in the pond at night. We're gonna cover waterfall construction. We're gonna talk about aquatic plants that can make or break your pond. And we're going to show you some, some tips and tricks that the top contractors across the nation use on edge treatment to make their ponds look so amazing. In this video series, you're going to learn how to build a pond right the very first time. So whether you're that weekend warrior that's tackling the project all by yourself, or you're having it professionally installed by a contractor, you're going to have a really good idea of how the whole process comes together. Let's get started. This is an 8x11 pond kit. It's an extremely popular size for beginning hobbyists all the way up to advanced hobbyists. We have a waterfall filter, we have a skimmer, we have the piping, the pumps, underlayment, underwater lights, the works in here. It's a standard kit. Now what we're going to do is we're going to place this waterfall behind me. Typically when you're getting ready to design your pond, I want to make sure that you evaluate where that waterfall is going to go. I want you to see it from a lot of areas inside the home, I want it to have maximum impact on your life. I want you to see it from the kitchen if possible, maybe the dining room. I want the audio to resonate into the home when you're sleeping in the evening time. So imagine that that's the area. We're going to place that waterfall behind us and then we'll put out the parameters of the pond, 8 by 11. Now we want to be careful not to put any lines. We have a straight line across the back. So I'm thinking this pond's going to have a nice curve coming out like this. I want to avoid lines uh, to match fence lines so it gives it a lot of interest and contour in the yard. Okay, we're going to set this waterfall in the prime location. We're going to angle it towards the house. It doesn't have to be directly towards a window. We want to give it an angle maybe at a window here, at the sliding glass door there, so you can get multiple attractions. I want to set it off this fence. I want to be real careful in the fact that we don't want to throw dirt on the fence because it'll start to make the fence deteriorate and break down. So we're probably going to put a small retaining wall back here and we're going to set this off just enough. Waterfall placement's real critical. Once you get the waterfall placed, we're going to grab a garden hose and we're going to lay out an interesting shape and then you can kind of reflect on that a little bit. We'll spray paint it and you can see how it's going to look before you start digging. Okay, so I don't want this line of this side of the pond to be right at the edge of the waterfall. I want to have it come past a little bit. So this will be one of the, the parameters of my shape. And what I'll do is I'll mark out my 11 foot run. There's 11 feet. And then I'll establish this side of the pond where we'll probably have this be part of the line. And then what I'll do is <clears throat> I'll mark this side of the pond as well. Okay, for starters, what I've done is I've put a little bit of paint on the ground in these locations. What I have is eight foot by 11 foot and I can see pretty much the rectangle that's there. And now what I'll do is I'll grab a garden hose and we'll create an interesting shape inside this um, parameter. It's a nice interesting shape with a big opening for the waterfall to spill into. And then we'll put the skimmer on the opposite side of that. Our skimmer is going to be located on the opposite side of the waterfall. And then we can pull these curves around to get it just the way we want to, to make for an interesting shape inside the parameters there. Now once the hose is set in place, I would advise you that you stand back at the destination area evaluate it, make sure you're really going to fall in love with that shape. Then we're going to spray paint that line and then we would begin excavation. So 
So we're going to place the skimmer at the opposite end of the waterfall on this pond. And I want you to do that after you've really fell in love with the shape. Once you know that you love the shape, we set the skimmer in place. We're going to spray paint this out. And before we do excavation, we're going to plumb that waterfall filter. So that way when we take this dirt, everyone thinks that they start with the excavation first, but it's really important. We're going to set that waterfall, put all the plumbing in it. And as we dig, we can be burying the plumbing and burying the waterfall filter as we do it. It's going to save you a lot of time and a lot of money. So at one of the big box stores, Home Depot or Lowe's, you can get this markdown paint and you can walk around the edge of the pond and you can mark it down. So it's designed to spray paint it out. You know, the Krylon stuff you use for other kind of art is not quite as good as this. So you want to mark this out extremely well so we know where to dig. And now we can start to plumb that waterfall filter.